hey guys welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're clicking my video for the first time welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the channel thank you for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos so this video is very juicy and Misha, by the title, you already know. Anybody that asks you for urgent 2K, forward this video to them. I'm just going to be telling you six small business ideas that you can consider doing this 2023. If you're looking for something to do or you already have a business and you just want, since you have little extra time, you want to just put that time to good use or you're a student and you just need some extra cash because you cannot always be asking your parents for money. You know, you just want some extra cash for yourself this video is for you so just hang in there you're going to enjoy this video you see me holding this paper please excuse the paper because i had to take notes you understand so the first thing the first business on my list is cleaning you know people don't really understand this but people are getting lazy by the second and most people that are the lazy people are people that have money so you you don't need shop you don't need a little money share because you need to buy more buckets and all those cleaning items once you get that it's less than 20k eh just post on your whatsapp status just put online that oh i can clean for you so 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 and so dm me for price you understand that kind of a thing you know just i can clean wash your clothes people that have money don't want to do the work so do the work for them and get paid stop sleeping you can do all of that and get paid like your university students people students most especially are the ones that don't like doing anything you can go and be like okay i can help you sweep your room sweep your corner arrange your organize your wardrobe people don't organize their wardrobes if they see someone to organize it for them do we definitely take it i'll organize your wardrobe wash your clothes this can you pay me some so amount you bargain okay the next on my list is peers for this one you need a little money but no i'm not even talking about now that maybe cash is cars and they are using uh, you know three thousand to withdraw ten thousand i'm not talking about now i'm talking about even before if you open an op app on your phone you will see that there are so many rewards for tv subscription for transfer so apart from the money you give them they actually get commissions for doing transactions they get commissions for you know doing buying a time doing them um, to this tv subscription dstv and the likes for you know all that all those other things they get money for doing all those things like three people that want to do digestive subscription open will first give you your own commission then you see collect from them so you see how the money is coming in is a win-win situation the next thing is a drop shipping you know i like this one you don't need shing buying to start my brother all you need to do is summon up courage you cannot be broke and proud you have to bring yourself down you walk into a store you, you have to use your menu your common sense to know like it has to be a big store someone that does wholesales you know so a big store just walking talk to do, talk to the um just relates your idea to the owner of the store you, and it's a win-win for both of you because you're bringing a customer for him he's selling his market and you you're getting your small thing that you must have added on top or once he makes sales he gives you a commission for the person you brought i don't know if you're understanding me i, I hope i'm not blabbing i hope you're understanding me if you have any question feel free to leave it in the comment section i will answer it there in case i'm not being clear enough so the next thing on my list my my list is thrifting see thrift is just a it's just this big name for okrita you can but see but if you want to do a business packaging matter so don't just go and do normal bend and select no don't do that if you go to a big thrift market or cricket market let me use market english that you understand pick first grade clothes package it you don't need to have a shop all you need to do is to bring out your phone and as i said before you cannot be broke and proud you have to bring down yourself so when you bring out your phone you have to advertise it like your life depends on it when you advertise somebody somewhere will patronize you because somebody will see it you like it you buy you're making sales so even if you have just twenty thousand naira, you can start truth 
you don't need to buy so much even if you buy 10 pieces of clothes you sell that one first as the money is coming you are going to the market you're increasing your sales before you know what's happening you're thinking of opening a shop it's just that another one is full stuff do you know you can sell full stuff from your house you don't need to have a shop all you need to do is to have small money in your hand let me tell you how to do that <laughs> see but if you have like twenty thousand naira and you have one mama in the village that used to fry gary meet her bargain with her one bag of gary from her you buy you get to your house <clears throat> You advertise it like your life depends on it. You tell people how much you're selling your gari. You package it. You don't even need to buy all those plenty packaging, silly machine, all those things that will cost you money. If you're try if you're working on a tight budget, you just need to buy Ziploc bags, the big big one. The one that one paint of gari can enter. You sell your gari paint by paint. People people that want bigger paints, you just get bigger nylon. So you can pack it for them neatly. In a very neat environment do a video with your environment some people know that where you're packaging it is very neat post it online advertise it people that want to buy they remember that oh i have somebody on my whatsapp that sells this and gary is something that everybody's eating <laughs> it can even be rice it, it can be anything you don't understand what i mean like get the point i'm saying gary doesn't mean it has to be gary it can be egg i know someone that is doing egg she's not the she doesn't even have to just know anything about poultry but she has she knows someone that does that is into poultry farming she goes there to use her phone you know just take a picture with uh, uh, and everything do videos and whatnot post it online people that want crates of egg you go and deliver it's very simple if i remember if like if i want to get something maybe i just need eggs and i'm like why would i go to the market to buy egg oh there's somebody on my saturday selling egg do you get me do you understand what i'm saying it can be it can be anything that your money can afford if it's only gary it's fine if it's only rice it's fine if you can join me together it's fine if you just want to test run it just get one item or two items test run it and you understand and just dive into this then as you're getting to know the business more and i will also say any business you want to start don't just start it blindly make sure you have an idea of what you're getting yourself into do some researches you know just make a little findings about what you're about to start before starting and then once you start you are good to go private lesson you don't need to have a degree for this but people don't know all you need is make sure that the subject you want to teach is something you are very familiar with be able to tolerate children because no children can be a lot so once you have that tolerance for children and you have an idea like you have a broad knowledge of a particular subject or maybe two subjects that is it just walk to your neighbor downstairs people around that you know that have children and be like oh i teach it can be the language you speak as long as you know it very well like from a to z you can teach it once you talk to them like intelligently like they will see the way you talk the way you speak to them maturely not you're speaking to them and you're speaking not not that pigeon is bad but you're talking to them and you're saying like hey i get something they'll be like that was just going to teach my children no so you have to speak intelligently like professional just put your subject out so that she will not start telling you subjects you don't know how to teach maybe you don't know math so say i i, I come across your mathematics so you have to put your own subject out and then once there's no parent that don't want their children to be intelligent you understand especially when it comes to education so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i would really love to do a part two because in fact i love this kind of videos <laughs> So I really love to be part two. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to leave a comment for me. If you like this video, just tell me in the comment section that you like the video. If you didn't like it, still tell me you didn't like it. If you have any questions on any business I mentioned now, please let me know in the comment section. I will be there replying all your messages, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.